Hey guys, uh, real quick before we jump right into this video, I just want to say that this video is really, really, really special to me. It has been months, if not years, in the making. My good art YouTuber friend, Arta Chloe Rose, and I have been collaborating for a really long time. We've been talking, and we finally, finally, finally got to meet in person for the very first time. And we decided to film this video for not just my channel, but one like this for her channel too. And Chloe Rose, you guys, is such a wonderful person. She's beautiful inside and out. She's been such an inspiration to me and she, more importantly she's been such a wonderful friend to me so here on YouTube so um, yeah without further ado let's get into it okay guys hi so we're here currently at Zim Michaels and I'm gonna give myself a total of three minutes to do this whole entire thing so I'm gonna try to get everything I need within the three minutes now I there's no Michaels where I'm from like let me just get that out of the way right now so I don't really know the layout I don't really know what's here I'm assuming the same stuff at Hobby Lobby right mm-hmm yep exactly okay. the same okay um, <laughs> kind of kind of kind of yeah oh god <laughs> and I've been thinking last night about like what I want to draw it's been a medium I'm thinking of like a realistic charcoal because I've not done that in a while and you guys really love my charcoal drawing so uh, you ready, Chloe? I'm ready. Are okay. you ready? Okay. Get your running shoes on. Hey, Time they're literally on. Yes! <laughs> so yeah, I'll go ahead and turn up the volume, you guys, and I guess we'll start the timer. Three minutes. Okay, go, let's go, go. go. Let's do this thing. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to definitely need is some charcoal. Uh, so... Um, I'm assuming it's in the pencil aisle. Okay. Um, you got a lot of options. Oh god. <laughs> I'm <just> stress. <laughs> this is twenty dollars. Damn. That is a lot of money. Okay, that is a lot of money. Um, <laughs> um, 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 um. Don't they have just like regular pencils anywhere? Um, just like a regular pen. I bet it was back over there with the charcoal. Yeah. Eraser pencils. Perfect. Uh, regular pencils. Yes. For $4.99. Oh, damn. And then, uh, yeah. Paper. 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 Yeah, paper. that's kind of essential. Paper. You can't draw on your arm. <laughs> okay, so you guys know I love the Strathmore. That's my favorite brand. Specifically, like the 400 series, which is the best. So I'm gonna stick with good old and trusty. Uh, I'm gonna get toned. Should I get toned tan or gray? I'd go with gray. You like gray, right? Yes, I love gray. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, you got razors, you've got charcoal, paper, oh, highlight. Highlight, yeah. Prismacolor white highlight, boom, right here. Is this white? I don't know what this is. That's like generic. <laughs> this is so intense. Okay, um, come with you're doing good, you got a lot. Pencils, highlight, charcoal. Uh, um, uh, um, Tortillion thing. Oh, tortillion. You said yeah. that to me I'm before. I'm gonna also get this just because it's perfect. Cool. Right. Uh, tortillion. Where are they? <laughs> uh, pencils, I think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, here they are. Here they are. Ah. And they're two dollars and twenty nine cents. Okay. Perfect. Pencils, erasers, charcoal, highlights. Um, got thirty four seconds left. I can get one more thing. Um. um I think you got most of it, right? How is there like no white pens anywhere? Oh yeah, um... God dang like it. A paint pen or something? Uh, oh 17, 16, oh, 15. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I do not have like a white pen. How do they not have a white pen anywhere? What is this? Oh, it's a color. Oh, damn it. Um, um, oh. I can't see anything. Oh, oh. Dang, you did good though. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I think I got everything that I'm gonna need. I think I got everything I need. And I even have like a little wild card right here. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think yeah. it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Show. Yeah, I guess I'm ready to go ahead and check out and um, I will see you guys back home. Hello everybody, I'm back at my house in New Mexico and and please don't mind the hot mess that is on my arms right now. I tried to do this spray tanning thing and I just, I literally don't know how to spray tan so now I like literally have two different colored arms right now. I had such a wonderful time in Florida. I'm back now and uh, yeah, let's do some drawing, shall we? 
So first things first, as you guys know, I love the Strathmore toned gray paper. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, like why would somebody want or need gray paper? And the answer to that is that black paper, it gives you the ability to not only pull out the darkest depths of shadow, but it also gives you the ability to pull out the whitest of whites, which, is, which in my opinion, that's such a superpower right there. So gray paper all the way. So besides the paper, obviously the first thing I'm gonna need are some pencils. And the pencils that I got are the General Graphite Art Pencil Kit, which is interesting. I've never used these before. And this will be good for the base of my drawing, like the outline or something. Now for the drawing, I thought long and hard, you know, what I wanted to do, who I wanted to draw, what I wanted to draw. And I felt that I had no other option but to draw Miss Chloe Rose herself. And Chloe, I love you, but drawing her was easier said than done. And that's for a few reasons. Uh, first one being that she doesn't upload selfies that often. And the second reason is the selfies that she does have, they're very, very colorful. You know what I'm saying? And when you turn down the saturation, boom, all the magic is gone from the photo. And after a little bit of stalking her Instagram, I did find one photo that when you turn down the saturation, turn up the contrast, you get a beautiful black and white photo. And that's perfect for a black and white photo because not only does it look good in color, it looks good in black and white. Yes. Now, for all the artists out there who, you know, like me, mess around with realism a lot, uh, I would say arguably one of the most important parts is trying to get the proportions right. And with Chloe Rose, my sweet, sweet Chloe Rose, she has very defined but soft, delicate features. Like, for example, she has really large eyes that are like piercing blue. But at the same time, they're like really feminine and round. She also has like really nice eyebrows that are very prominent, but they're snatched to the gods. And she also has like really large lips, but they're not too big. You know what I'm saying? They're all very feminine. Like she has a good face. And so I spent a lot of time erasing, redrawing, erasing, redrawing, because I really want to make Chloe proud. Okay, so here is, is what we are working with. And honestly, it kind of it kind of looks like Chloe has a straight up beard going on. And I will admit that it is a hot mess for now, but this is where Oh, that could have been so bad. This is one of the very rare times that I fully screwed it on cuz usually I just kind of like leave it, you know, just like that. But oh my gosh. Oh, that was so scary. Oh my gosh. But anyway, I spent a very long time on the proportions, trying to get it as accurate as I could. And you know, I still haven't found out completely what I'm gonna do with this shirt because, you know, she's like at an angle. So uh, this is where the charcoal comes in. Ba -ba -da -ba. All right, so I'm gonna use this next minute of footage to have some real talk with you guys. Uh, one of the biggest comment- okay, so my last video, the super serious video, one of the biggest comments that I got was, please show us more of your art process. We love to see you draw, we love to see you create, and we love to see it, you know, step by step. And so, if you haven't watched that video, it's a very serious video, I will link it up here in the card. But basically, what I talk about is you know, just having a lot of anxiety, like, they don't want to see any of my artwork. And so usually what I would do with this minute long footage is I would condense it down to like 20 seconds, play some music, and then boom, all of a sudden it's finished and done. So this time I'm really trying to slow it down, show you guys my whole artistic process, and making the video about the artwork, not the race to hurry up and do the challenge kind of thing. 
So obviously I'm very new to this specific thing. So if you do like this slowed down or you want it more slowed down or less slowed down, like please let me know in the comments because I, I don't know. <laughs> So at this point we have the pencil layer down, we have the charcoal layer down, and it looks good and everything, but I just feel like it's a little flat, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you guys remember earlier, but uh, I had sneakily put in a white colored pencil in my basket, and I'm not too sure exactly like what happened to it between like the airport and now. Uh, so in place of that, I'm gonna go in with a white colored pencil that I have. This is just like a clearly used white Prismacolor. And this will just be a great tool because now it's gonna add another dimension. Like we already added in the shadows. Now we need to add in the highlights. Now for my non-artist out there, I think you guys are gonna be shook when you see the difference of what highlights can do. And objectively speaking, highlights are probably the easiest thing when it comes to, you know, my drawing process. And it's so simple to do, but it just adds such a beautiful dimension to the artwork. Now for this last and final step to complete the artwork and to ground the artwork, only the people who have been really, really paying attention will notice that when I was in Michael's, I put in this yellowish, greenish paint in the basket. And I did end up throwing it away because, you know, <coughs> TSA, but I have one very similar at my house and it just adds such a cool pop of color. I'm so glad that I chose it because I think it just gives a, such a funky and fresh element. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end, but I still have one last surprise for you guys. Um, it's good to see you back, you know, after Florida. I know, it's great to see you too. I've not seen your face properly for ages. <laughs> oh, so, are you ready to see what I drew? I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <gasps> it's you! It's kind of like a bad angle, but it looks really good up close in person. You can see it. That looks amazing! I'm so flattered! Oh, thank you. You're amazing. Oh my god, that's so lovely. I literally painted a mushroom. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. I like mushrooms too. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so flattered. Yeah, thank you, Chloe, so much for being on my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I had a lot of fun, so um, do you want to say goodbye to everybody with me? Yeah. Let <laughs> me get my face in camera. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>